What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today we're at a pond, actually two ponds, but I'm only going to fish one of them today just to get out, stretch my legs a little bit now that the weather is great and try to catch some fish. Today I'm going to be using the Nico Super Ned. It is right fresh out on the market guys and let me tell you what, the looks on it are fantastic. There are five of them right here in front of me. I've got the obsidian right here. I've thrown them this color in the Helgramites, the tadpoles, of the bass worms, you name it. I love this color. One of my favorites. Again, there is a disclaimer. Do not, I repeat, do not open these and leave them in a closed-in place. The car, the bathroom, your wife's purse, lunchbox. Don't do it. I cannot be held responsible for the consequences of doing it. Do not do it. The Lunar, which is what I'll be starting out with today. It is an awesome core shot. It's got a blue flake core shot. And I think there is maybe some squid and stuff in it. Or shrimp extract in this also. And I've also got a green pumpkin here. I don't know if I'll get to this today. But hey, I'm starting out with the Lunar. And we're going to Obsidian. So guys, it's enough talking. Let's get out here and enjoy this nice fine weather. Now that the thaw is here and spring is on the way. And go do some donkey hunting. Alright guys, this is the actual the first filming I've done on the water this year. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of ice and snow. But the water's starting to get active. So let's see if we can get something. We got some geese right over there. When I was pulling up, I already saw a few turtles. So they're starting to get active. This water is usually a lot clearer, but with all this rain we've been having, it's kind of murky. So I'm just using the Ned rig. See if we can get some action. I'm hoping we can. Hoping something bites. Oh, oh. Guess who? Got him, guys. First fish on. Oh, oh, I still got him. I still got him. Have mercy. Would you look at that? First bass of the year on film on the Nico Ned. Look at that, guys. Beautiful looking fish. Beautiful looking fish. He's colder than it can be, but beautiful. Son. Let's look at him one more time. Right there. Let's get him back in. This is the first fish of the year caught on the camera for the first episode on the first Nico Ned. I'm going to name this one Becca. Becca, go get bigger. He's in there. Let me show you again what I caught him on. Oh, there we go. Get him off. This is the Nico Ned in Lunar. Beautiful Ned rig. I've got it rigged up on a uh, 1 15th ounce Midwest finesse rig or some of you like to just call them a Ned rig. Um, get it untangled a little bit here from when I had him. I hate when that happens, but hey, happens to the best of them. Said this is the first time I've actually really got to get out and fish with the weather and do some to some circumstances at the house with my wife having to work from home. I wanted to get out and give her a little time to get some more work done in peace and quiet because she said I make a little bit too much noise. Main thing is just get out here and get some fishing done. Again, guys, it's the best therapy ever. I'm kind of being slow with it when I'm bouncing off the bottom a little bit. Pause. 90% of your catches that you get when you're Ned rigging, any finesse really, is on the descend. 
right after he hits the bottom. First time I came to this pond, it's probably about 12 o'clock. There was 10 deer sitting right over there in this little part of the field here. Wasn't scared of nothing. I just got a hit. Uh, guess what, guys? Boom! There we go. Fish on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Another one on the lunar. Little guy. Remember, dinks need love, too. Dinks got to eat, too. Remember that. Let's look at them one more time, like so. Nice little fish. Nice little fish. All right, let's get him cut back in there. Go warm up, buddy. We're switching out to the obsidian. Do not open the obsidian and leave it in a closed in space, such as a car, bathroom, Anything like that does not have ventilation. You will regret it, honestly. And the best thing about these guys is it does stretch. It's got the same stretch factor. Look, I've got it leaning on my rod, my rod leaning on it, and it's still going. It's got a concave in there so it'll snug even more snugly with your jig heads. And we're just going to rig it up just like we would normally. Bring it up and push it. push it real good now here I actually shot came out a little bit more so I'm just gonna pull it out and that's a beautiful thing about these guys you can actually pre-rig it and it'll look just like brand new so I'm gonna pull it back out and we're gonna bring it up to here and boom see that perfect absolutely I could have pulled it up and brought it down a little bit more but that'll be perfect for it so let's try to catch another fish. I'm fishing over these, these little mini bushes or trees, whatever you want to call them. So hopefully, something here Guess what, guys? Got one. <sighs> Hope I don't get hung on these, these trees. Try to pull them out. There. I got him. Or he got me. He's right there. Let's see if I can reach in there and grab him. gonna get hairy a little bit guys but <sighs> gotta save the fish let's see how quick how good I can get down in here on him probably gonna get wet a little bit but it happens it happens Guys, 
I'm leaning out over. I don't know how wise this is going to be. But, you know what, let's do it like this. Hoping. Oh, that water's cold. Got him. Bam. That water is cold. But, guys, look at this. The line broke just for me pushing or you're pulling him up. He still got it in his mouth, guys. Look at that. It's in there. Beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. There we go. Popped it out. Save the lure. Save the fish. There he is, guys. Look at him one more time. We'll release him. We'll call this one Dante. There he goes. Let's get him back in there. He's super cold, that's for sure. Let's get him in there. There he goes. He's swimming. I catch one? Yep. Got one, guys. He snuck up on there. I'll spin that bad boy up. No, sir. He's trying to get in that gunk. But I ain't having it. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another. There was another taker of the obsidian Ned. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Little thick little guy. Still cold as can be. But hey, I'm not out here fishing a tournament right now. But I will be. But I'm just out here trying to catch some fish. Well, guys, I just wanted to get out here today and catch some fish. Just get out here and enjoy the great outdoors. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly, but hey, those last couple of weeks have been absolutely crazy. Brutal cold. We went from ice to snow to ice to rain to snow to rain to ice. But as you can see, it's all gone out here. Spring is definitely coming. But hey, what better way to celebrate that than get out here and enjoy what God created for us? I mean, look, look behind me, guys. Look at that sunset. Gorgeous. Went out today. I'd intended on using two or three different baits. Um, the Ned, Leech, Winnow. Who knows what else I was going to pull out. But I decided to go old school with it. Do a little bit of Ned rig action. Started out with the Lunar Ned from Nico. Caught two or three fish off of that. Just using that 115th ounce Midwest finesse jig. You guys like to call them Ned Rigs. But slow, bouncing it slowly off the bottom. And then pausing on that retrieve. Candy, guys. Candy. And just like all the other Nico stuff, it floats too. It takes a beating. Then we finished out the day with the Obsidian Ned. It didn't disappoint just like usual. With the other Net Obsidian colors I've tried with that. Boom. And I even went in after that first Ned catch. Again, leave no fish and no lure behind. Go after it if you have to. Well, this tops off another awesome day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this content, check out the rest of the channel. Smash that thumbs up button. If you hadn't already, hit the play button. Subscribe. Join the Pond Predator Nation. It don't cost a thing. And last but not least, so you do not miss when the next episode of the Pond Chronicles drops, 
hit that bell on the right hand side. So until next time guys, give a man a fish, eat for a day, but teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Tight lines everybody, later.